Hey guys, good evening. So, am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay. So, today agenda mainly two items. One is wire shark. Uh, second one is a uh, couple of interview questions shared by Patan as well as Madhav. Uh, those thing, those uh, two things we can discuss. Uh, first, we can going to discuss about wire shark. So Wireshark, as I said, uh, for network traffic analyzer, if you want to do analysis, uh, mainly it is a troubleshooting session. So if you want to analyze any network traffic, in that scenario, we will use this particular uh, network traffic analyzer that is nothing but Wireshark. Uh, most of the cases, uh, this one will be used by implementation team. Okay, so why implementation team they will use? Example, uh, log sources logs they integrated to sim tool in that scenario logs are not reflecting in the sim tool so in that particular scenario what they will do so they will do the packet capture and then they will go and they will analyze the traffic so what is the issue behind the so logs are not reflecting in the sim tool right so here most of the cases implementation team that is one team normally they will do the packet analysis second one is uh, NOC team, Network Operation Center, you know already. So they will take care of the network monitoring. Second one is server monitoring. Third one is application monitoring. So maybe one week back, I given one of the example as well. Uh, Facebook is uh, lost around $6 billion in March month time period uh, because due to network outage. In that particular instant, they will do the network traffic analyzer or network traffic analysis. Okay. So for network traffic analysis, normally, uh, it will analyze the TCP IP layer approach. Okay, so TCP IP layer contains mainly four layers. That is nothing but application layer. Second one is the transport layer. Third one is the internet layer that is also called as a network layer. Fourth one is network interface layer. So these are all the four layers. So whatever voice layer seven we have, that one is reduced to four layers of the TCP IP. It's entire question also. How many TCP IP layers are there? Most of the people, they will give answer as a seven, but that is wrong. So TCP IP layers, we have only four. One is uh, application session plus presentation is converted into single application layer. Transport is transport only. Network is nothing but internet layer. And uh, data link plus physical layer is nothing but network interface layer. Okay. Whenever you are analyzing the packet capture, it will do the TCP IP layer analysis. Where is the exact issue? Whether it is, give me one second. Sorry, guys. Yeah. So, where is the exact issue? Whether it is in the application layer, so whether maybe HTTP or HTTPS traffic or maybe DNS record is issue, or maybe SSL or TLS issues. So what is the exact issue on the application layer? In the transport layer, whether in between client and server, or in between peer-to-peer -peer communication, whether packet is retransmissioning, or packet is dropping, or packet is a reset, as well as a TCP three-way handshake is completing or not, that is the analysis we will do under the transport layer. In the network layer, whatever routing we are doing, IP packet. So IP packet, whether ping is happening or not, ICMP is uh, pinging or not using ping command. And also what is the time to live? And also what is the header length? And what is the bit size? And what are the flags using as per IP packet? And also even in the TCP layer also, it will analyze the TCP flags, whatever we discussed around six. And finally, in the network interface layer, it will analyze the, so, decimal code as well as a binary code or hexadecimal code that conversion basically okay so even it will analyze the arp tables as well as mac layers and so on practical i will show don't worry so that is about the overall agenda so as i said so most of the cases this wireshark tool will be used by one is NOC team network operation center team uh, they used to identify where is the exact issue whether in between <coughs> source to destination is there any half duplex or full depth duplex packet is dropping whether routing is configured correctly or not in the application layer also 
uh, whether application is correctly responsing or not is there any errors are they related to 404 or 504 or 502 or 401 and 402 uh, http related authentication codes uh, in the ip i mean network layer basically in the network layer as i said ip routing is configured correctly or not and ip packet is dropping or packet is uh, retransmissioning or packet is uh, uh, resetting so those are the things in the network layer finally in the network interface layer so arp tables rrp tables mac related issues and physical cable connection related issues and also water binary code is there that one is connecting to decoding or compressing or encrypting all those analysis we will do okay coming back here so on the security side okay knock team they will go on they will analyze whenever any issue will come on the network or application or server side coming back on the security side or SOC operation team uh, when they will use this particular wireshark tool so as i said most of the case implementation level whenever we are integrating logs to sim tool in that scenario if those logs are not reflecting in the sim tool so we, we have to go and we have to take the tcp dump or maybe we have to take the packet capture and we have to analyze okay so these are the two scenarios most of the cases we'll use a virus shark so otherwise the uh, instant investigation side we will not use it that much regularly okay so so far do you have any queries so far do you have any queries on the wire shark tool it is a network traffic analyzer so for packet capture analysis purpose as well as network traffic analyzing purpose we will use the wire shark tool as i said so most of the cases from cyber security SOC operation side implementation team they will use so second team is a network team or network engineer team or NOC team okay so that is about introduction part coming back what you have to do so you can go to google and just you can type wireshark download okay so you can see here wireshark please go to please don't go to trojan websites always you can go to legitimate website when I say legitimate website, so nothing but genuine website we have to take. How can you identify that it's genuine or not? So based on the organization itself, wireshark.org. Obviously, it's a genuine websites. Couple of things, couple of times what will happen? So it will come other websites as well. Example, you can see techspot.com. This is like a Trojan website. We should not trust these type of websites. You can, you can see download.cnef.com. So not only this one, even for any software or any file if you are going to download always we have to download from the trusted and also genuine website or legitimate website this already we discussed it's a part of uh, nmap okay so just you can click on download and you can see here there are uh, stable releases so always we have to go to the stable releases and also we can see old stable release so forget about this one always you can go for the newer releases so Windows installer 64 bit, Windows portable apps, Mac OS, Mac OS Intel source code. So always we have to go with the, if, if I use MacBook. If you're using MacBook, then you can for, download for MacBook uh, related uh, software. If you're using uh, Windows, then you can download Windows related. So just, uh, so in this scenario, I'm using 64 bit. So I have to download the first one. So just click on that one. It will take some time to download the Wireshark. So this is the way how it will download. After downloading this one, we have to install. Okay, so I already downloaded this file. So just I will go to the downloads. And you can see here, so download option is available. So just we have to click on this one then it will ask so do you want to allow this app to make changes in your device no i will click and install so next 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 and finally finish so that is the way how we have to install the wireshark tool this is the basic software how to how we have to install once you are installing what we have to do so we have to go and we have to identify whether that particular software whatever we install so it is opening or not so where we will go and we'll open the respect application anyone where we have to go and we have to open this particular application so now i downloaded and installed 
वन सेकेंड गैस वन सेकेंड sorry guys yeah so once you are downloaded after installing this one then what we have to do just you can click on search button here and wire shark so then wire shark open will but uh, will open so this is the wire shark total tool okay now what we have to do so now what i will do i will do the live traffic analysis because we don't have the any packet capture so if you want to do the packet capture normally which tool we will use for packet capture packet Marisha. capture packet capture packet capture from which tool we will export from firewall sir yes firewall so firewall or proxy we can export after exporting then we have to bring that file and we have to import so file we have import from hexa dump are you able to see my screen oh. yeah file import from hexa dump first we have to export the file from the whatever instant time it is happened example in the sim tool you received one of the alert you are not sure what is the exactly network traffic or packet capture analysis you are not sure where is the issue okay so most of the cases if you are doing thousand instances also not even one time you will use the wire shark but anyway you should know about the basic knowledge on wireshark okay coming back example one of the malware category of the instant it is happened or maybe one of the dos or ddos attack is happened so that alert will come to sim tool in the sim tool we will go and we will uh, we will take the, those logs and whatever instant time it is happened okay so that time we have to go to the firewall or that time we have to go to the ids ips and we have to export the packet capture file how to export the packet capture file already this one i discussed the part of portinet firewall i am not sure how many people are remember that particular action water we have done part of portinet firewall i will show you once again uh, just you can go back to the firewall so click on portinet demo what is username password demo demo yes demo demo click on login button okay login read only never after going here where we have to do the packet capture anyone where we have to go, go go and download the packet capture file logs and reports logs and reports after that logs which logs forward traffic forward traffic forward, forward traffic
next one so whatever alert you received in the sim tool that respect to source ip destination ip and all సారీ గైస్ పవర్ హ్యాస్ గాన్ అపాలజీస్ ఫర్ దట్ so we have to go to the log on report tab and we have to go to the forward traffic so now am i audible yes sir yes sir yes sir okay yeah so little bit delay will be there because i'm using mobile hotspot so now what are instant we received in the sim tool that source ip destination ip you can filter out how we have to do the filter out option just you can give the plus symbol here and search so it will ask source ip destination ip ip we have to filter out source ip and destination ip just you can click on the plus symbol so source that particular ip address example for suppose source ip is this one apply and next one is plus symbol so next one is the destination destination yeah destination example 21079612 apply so this from this source to this destination traffic is going on so that particular time period so example maybe so 2022 november 19 sorry october 19th around 545 incident is happened so i will repeat once again october 19th 2022 october 19th 2022 so incident is happened so now which one we have to go and we have to download the packet capture file out of these four first one sir out of i said 545 so you you will you have to take the so our time stamp from the sim tool then you have to come here so what our time stamp is there in the sim tool so same time stamp when i say time stamp is nothing but time so date month as well as the time seconds as well okay so example this this time instant is happened we have to click on this one after that after that that means nobody has played with firewall t i mean firewall tool uh, left hand side above arrow mark is there yes this is the one that's correct we have to download this file so this is the way how we are exporting the file now okay but unfortunately what our file it is format is different we cannot export this is not a proper i mean this is a demo tool only not a practical tool traffic in different format but if you are in the production environment and you are working for the dedicated company that time we can export directly i will export this one as well let's see okay now go back to so our wireshark tool now you can see here there are multiple options are there so on the right hand side also a lot of multiple options on the tabs wise even here also there are a lot of options but we no need to worry about whatever traffic we are capturing directly you can click on file import from so hexadecimal file and port analyzer traffic now one second down we have submit option will be there
this is no need to change it. Uh, Ethernet, I think. By default, Ethernet will be there. But down, I'm out, not able to see. Uh, so unfortunately down we have one more button will be there just we have to click on open that's all so we browser right so far did you understand what it is say hello yes sir okay after exporting the file from the portinate firewall or maybe ids ips tool or maybe anti dos or anti ddos tool so we have to export the file and we have to come back to wireshark after coming back to Wireshark, what we have to do, file and import option will be there. So just click on import button and you can see here browse. One of the new window will open and the browse option will be there. Click on browse button and whatever. So the, right now my file is there. It's a part of downloads. So this is the one for the analyzer traffic. So click on open after selecting that one. After selecting that one down, we have some, I think submit option will be there, submit or maybe save or open some of the option will be there, but it's not going up, unfortunately. One second, let me try. I tried control with the scroll as well as multiple options, but uh, still I'm not able to. Okay, so after clicking on that one, so what will open? So it will open one more window. That's okay anyway. How to analyze now, I'll explain. How to analyze, I will explain now. So what I will do now, so whatever Wi-Fi traffic it is coming to my laptop, I will analyze that one. Okay, that's fine, right? It's, a, it's called real-time traffic. So where we can analyze that real-time traffic? Where we can analyze real-time traffic? You can see here couple of traffics are going on. So this is graphs, whatever it is showing as a, so these are called real time traffic only. Okay. So example, Wi-Fi, virtual box, this virtual box I installed for the IBM Curator installation and adapter loopback. This is also for one of the uh, loopback address I installed for Nessus tool. So these are the couple of software are already running on. So I will click on Wi-Fi. So if I'm clicking on Wi-Fi, Water traffic, it's going on. Water applications I am maxing. Water internet applications I am maxing. Everything it will capture. Just you can click on Wi-Fi. Now you can see here. So now you are capturing this one. So now what is, what is the screen right now? You are able to see whatever Wi-Fi traffic is going in my laptop. Everything it is capturing. Okay. So now how to stop this one? Just you can click on, you can see right, uh, I mean, so ready here, I mean, red button is there, right? Just you can click on stop, stop date. So once again, it will restart, it will restart. But in practical way, so there is no need to monitor Wi-Fi traffic directly. We can take the file from Portinate Firewall or maybe uh, IDS IPS tool, or maybe from the anti-DOS or anti-DDoS tool, wherever you are doing the packet capture. That cap, packet capture file, you have to export from the respective tool and you have to come back to the Wireshark tool and you have to import. Okay, so after importing, that option is not coming in my laptop, unfortunately. So that's why what I'm doing, right, I, right now I'm doing Wi-Fi real-time traffic monitoring as well as capturing and analyzing. Understood or not? Any doubts so far? 
any doubts so far shall i repeat once again okay so what i am trying to say here file okay so i will not save this one so now file i imported from portnet firewall so sorry exported from portnet firewall i have to import so browse under downloads that file is there and click on this one but as i said here my cursor is not moving up so actually if i'm clicking on save or maybe open button it will open one more window and we can analyze the traffic so it's not opening that's why what i have done so i am doing right now my wifi packet capture so you can see here wifi packet capture click on this one so now packet i mean whatever applications are internet or back end services or software running on entire thing it is capturing so you can see uh, different types of color code as well so couple of things are blue couple of things are purple couple of things are pink couple of things are red and so on so just you can stop okay now you have to analyze okay here this is called filter button so whatever right now search button is there this is called filtering filtering in, filtering based on what filtering based on time filtering based on source filtering based on destination filtering based on http filtering based on dns filtering based on tcp filtering based on udp or filtering based on icmp in different ways okay now so here color coded are you able to see my screen yes sir yeah that's perfect coming back here what or red is coming it is nothing but some issue is there a red color yellow color green, i mean purple color so different colors other than white color everything it's like a some issue is there now you can see here so now according to this one now we can conclude that either red color most of the case red color a red color or block color it will represent some of the issue is there and also purple color it will represent tcp traffic and also pink color i think it will represent udp traffic okay you can see based on the color as well this is udp is not pink color some other color okay so now whatever red color is coming that is nothing but some issue is there now once you are exporting the packet from the firewall and you are importing in the so our wireshark tool now you will come to know this is the way how we can analyze the traffic so this is the way how that particular issue will occur so it will show different color what are different color it is showing but nothing but some issue is there okay now you can move down as well as up also so here also some of the issue is there okay here also different color so here also some issue is there whatever red color other colors are showing issues will be there so that is the meaning of that most of the cases red color we have to suspect as the issue is there so this is the one okay so meaning either errors packet retransmission packet is dropped or tcp three way handshake is not completed or tcp flags are not enabled or maybe ping command is not completed and so on okay now if you are clicking on this particular red color one automatically so example down it will appear one more window so we'll go to another one please go and practice this one even whatever youtube you are doing or whatever facebook you are opening everything in we can capture i will show you practically so example i will click on this one 
so now i will go i want to go and i want to analyze what is the issue for this particular source to destination okay now you can see here so this is called tcp ip layer tcp ip layer example transport layer so transport layer it's a part of tcp ip layer transmission control protocol which layer transmission control protocol which layer transport layer transport layer, transport layer. Transport layer. Internet protocol which layer? Network, network layer. Network layer. Network layer. Ethernet. Data link layer. Data link layer. Yeah, I am asking about IC. I mean TCP/IP layer. Ethernet. Internet interface. Net network interface. That's correct. Frame. Data link. Network interface. Yeah. Network. Interface. So he. Yes. So it will not show our overall. i mean voice layer approach it will show only dedicated to tcp ip layer where what about uh, application layer where is application layer where is application layer in this one transport layer transport layer is a transport layer so this is not a transport layer this is a tls transport layer security this is not transport layer this is tls It's nothing but application layer only. This is application layer. This is transport layer. So this is uh, network layer. This is this to our network Internet interface person. layer. Yes. Is it clear now? That's yes, what sir. I said, right? So Wireshark tool will analyze only TCP/IP layers only. So presentation is missing. Session is missing. Why? Because presentation is session. It's a part of our application layer only. okay now wherever that yellow color is showing that is nothing but some error is there white color is nothing but there is no errors that means in the in network interface layer there is no errors in the internet or network layer there is no error but on the transport layer some of the issue is there how we have to go and how we have to analyze now in the tls application layer also there is no issue when i'm clicking on this one automatically here hexadecimal is showing Encoding and decoding we have discussed, right? Where what is the encoding and decoding? Converting one form of data into another form of data. Which layer? Presentation. Presentation layer. Yes. So this all these part of hexadecimal packets. Okay. Hexadecimal as well as if you want to, you can convert, you can decode into other formats as well, like a decimal or binary and so on. So this is basically this is message. This is called payload. This is payload. Now coming back, which one we have to analyze now? Out of these five, which one we have to analyze? So now, when I'm clicking on this red color issue, it is showing a couple of layers like that is nothing but TCP/IP layer. Which one I have to analyze now? Where is the issue now? Yellow color. Yellow color. Yellow color one. That's correct. Transmission control protocol. Now you can go and you can see what is the exact issue. Source port four forty three, destination port three two five one, stream index twenty eight. Conversion completeness incomplete. You can see it incomplete. That means here source to destination. What is the source here? Thirteen dot two thirty two dot sixty seven dot one nine one ninety nine, and also one ninety two one sixty eight forty six eighty four. So in between these two, so that conversion is not completed. Nothing but what TCP three way handshake is not completed. Now where is the issue here? Transport layer issue. Whether may backend server is dropped. Okay, maybe so client itself it's not recommended properly or server is not responded properly. Three way TCP three way handshake is not completed. So this is what practically how to analyze the network traffic. So now you can go and you can see TCP segment length three one four, sequence number two. So segments and datagrams we discuss right. Every segment has a sequence number or segment ID number along with acknowledgement number also. Now you can identify practically. So segmentation we discuss right. So transport layer will support. So it's a nothing but um, data format in the form of segments. Every segment has okay segment ID or sequence number along with support number and also acknowledgement number. So that is called sequence number here. 
sequence number and also acknowledgement number acknowledgement number and flags so what are the flags this particular uh, tropic in between source and destination it is using which flags it is using source push to flag destination and acknowledgement flag yes push flag and acknowledgement flag it is using it is enabled so when you are enabling the flags of tcp whether it is zero or one one sir one that's correct so nothing but this particular packet whatever it is dropping from 192 to 168 46 842 13 232 67 199 so flags are enabled as a push and acknowledgement flag so remaining four flags are how many remaining four flags are anyone remaining four flags are zero disabled sir yeah remaining four flags are disabled what are those four flags names sync 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 plus acknowledgement sync plus acknowledgement flag is there tcp flags here so far we complete we have see we are able to see push and acknowledgement remaining how many flags are there so how many uh, total how many tcp flags we have think total how many tcp flags we have four four this is maybe third topic or fourth topic in our videos total six flags we have so what are the six flags it's entire question guys this one how many tcp flags we have can you please explain finish finish reset reset, reset. Sync. yes sync. urgent push Sorry, guys. Some network issues. Apologies for that. Okay. So now, overall, after analyzing this one, what you are, what did you understand? So in between, okay. So source and destination packet is not reached. It is dropped somewhere. TCP three-way handshake is not completed. Now we have to go and we have to see. So what is the issue here? Or maybe we have to reconfigure the issue. so that is the way how we have to do the troubleshooting part now okay so now coming back here we can filter out also so example one of the interview question guys it's very very important how can you filter out ip address in wireshark it's interview question how can you 
filter out IP address in Wireshark? It's an entire question. Okay. So what is the command we have to give? IP dot ADDR equal to equal to Okay, respect to IP address. Example, 192, 168, 46, 84. So if the respect to IP address is existing, then it will come as a green color. Otherwise, it will come as a red color on the top search button. So this is called search field. It's like a writing a query. So what is the command we have to give? IP dot ADDR address equal to equal to x dot x dot x dot x. This is what you have to say in the interview. So what is the interview question? In Wireshark, how can you filter? So based on IP address, or how can you filter out IP address? So what is the command we have to give? IP dot ADDR, nothing but address, equal to equal to x dot x dot x dot x. That's what you have to say the answer. OK. So now click on here enter button or click on this one now whatever traffic is going in between only 190 to 160 46 84 to the respective destination it will appear okay you can see here all the 192 to 168 it is repeating that's why it's showing everything so 192 168 46 84 so this is the traffic so this is the way how we have to identify. Please note this particular point. Okay. This is one of the entire question. And also how they will ask, how can you filter out HTTP traffic? Anyone? How can you filter out HTTP traffic? What do you mean HTTP? HTTP traffic. Same command what? we can use, sir, instead of IP HTTP. Yeah, what is HTTP first of all? What is I the traffic of HTTP? Application traffic. Yes, yeah, sir, application traffic. Application traffic. Nothing but application layer traffic. We have to give HTTP here. It will appear automatically. When you're typing automatic, automatically, it will appear. So click on HTTP. Now click on here. So right hand side, you can see arrow mark here. Click on arrow mark. So only HTTP related traffic, it will appear. OK, so th these two are HTTP traffic. One is Android client, Google. So it's my browser. Second, connection established. Connection established meaning here connection is initiated. In the similar way, we can type DNS also. So DNS, so just you can enter DNS and click on DNS here. So click on next button. So DNS related traffic, it will appear. What are DNS is in my laptop I'm maxing? It will appear. Example, you can see here. A. What is my A here? What is my A here? Otherwise, you can. I'm if I'm clicking on this one, it is coming domain name system. Domain name system or DNS is a part of which layer? Application DNS layer. application layer. That's perfect. So now you can see here. Flags standard query, and answers zero 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 everything, and here on the top you can see here are able to see A. Are able to see A here? Yes, what is A here? Anyone? Application layer on sir. IP oh, no, no. port to DNS. Perfect. Address nothing but this is a DNS record, A record. Okay. What is 4A? 6 to DNS. 4A record. Yeah, 4A record. That's correct. Okay, so this is the way how we have to analyze. So not only this one, even we can filter out some other traffic also. Okay, SMTP or maybe example, uh, next one SSL or maybe TLS. So in such a way, we can define everything. So this is TLS traffic, TLS 1.2. You can see protocol TLS 1.2 everywhere. This is called filtering part, part, but we will not do analysis of all this. Whatever red color is there, that one only we will analyze. Why? Because those red color traffics are packet is a retransmission, packet is a drop, or maybe packet is not sent, or maybe communication is not established, or TCP three-way handshake is not uh, established between these two, or DNS resolution is not happened. 
don't think that only in the transport layer issues will come. So it will come in the, the application layer. It will come in the transport layer. It will come in the network layer. It will come in the network interface layer as well. So example we discussed, how can you integrate firewall logs to SIM tool? How can you integrate firewall logs to SIM tool? Syslog method. Syslog. Syslog method. In case firewall logs are not reflecting in the SIM tool, what will you do? Packet capture and the wire shop. Yes, sir. What the first what is the first option? Rising the ticket, no, sir, to the client. Rising the ticket, are you sure? Verifying the configuration. Uh, yeah. Verifying the configuration. What type of configuration you will verify? Port number protocol format. Okay, port number protocol format. Next one. IP address, host name of the SIM tool, all these. So second option, option two. You have to take the packet capture file in between the yes. files. Yeah, packet and capture, same. where you will go and you will take now? In this scenario, SIM looks, uh, firewall locks are not reflecting in the SIM tool. So where will you go and you will take the packet capture file? From firewalls. Firewalls. firewall. Firewall. In the firewall, where will you go? Locks and reports. Locks, Locks and, and report. reports. What you will filter out? Source IP, destination IP. What is source? Firewall. firewall. What is destination? Sim2. Sim2. That's correct. Now you can export the packet capture file and you can come back to the Wireshark tool. Now you can analyze where is the issue. And you have to fix that particular issue. So in case it is not in your hands, then you can go and you can contact network team. Connectivity related issues will be handled by network team, routing and switching. Routing and switching, who will handle? Network team. Network, network, team. network team. In case the DNS record is not happening properly, DNS resolution is not happening, who will do? Network team. DNS Application. resolution. DNS resolution. Server team. Network admin team or else DNS team directly. Network admin team, most of the case, otherwise Windows team or maybe system admin team. Okay. So this is the way how we have to analyze the packet capture. So overall, what you have to understood from this one. So main thing is, so for packet capture, how to analyze. Second one is the couple of queries. So they will ask like, how can you filter out DNS traffic in the, so uh, I mean Wireshark tool. How can you filter out IP address? How can you filter out SMTP? How can you filter out HTTP traffic and so on? Example, maybe I will, I want to practically something else. Um, can you give any blocked website? Can you give any blocked website? Uh, normally, which, which, which app you will go and you will watch online videos, recent movies? Recent movies, which, which website will follow to download? Movie rules. Movie rules. I bomb. I bomb. I bomb. Correct. Okay. Can you spell it? I I for India. Okay. B O M M. B O M. Okay, that's fine. So go. On, let's go and see whether. Uh, yeah, my company it is completely rejected. You can see. Sorry, you don't have permission to visit this site. Now we can go and we can see this traffic is coming in the our white, uh, I mean, packet capture tool or not. Okay. Shall we go and sell see now? Yes, sir, sir. Okay. So now what is the, uh, so wh what, what I have done now? So I access one of the application. What is the application name? So HTTP. So now you can go and you can see in case if it is not coming as a HTTP, then you have to go with, with the other options. So HTTP, so only two things are coming. You can go on down, you can see. So only these two. So HTTP it is not showing yes. So let's go and see with the DNS. So sorry, I have to do the packet capture. Sorry, I forgot. Because this is a live traffic. I did not do the live traffic capture. So this previous one, right? So I have to stop this one.
so now now we will do the packet capture so we need to download from packet from server right you can see packets are sending 4015215653729 are able to see down packets are going on here also you can see it's increasing nothing but packet is capturing from my system so packets are increasing we need to import the package from firewall right? yes but this is this scenario i don't have firewall no so just i'm showing in my wi-fi traffic real time traffic but you are right so practically you have to do that you have to export from firewall and you have to import so stop is this button red button you have to stop so i will do one thing this is not captured so i will reopen once again So now I will open the topic. So now what I will do? Now I will go and I will revisit this site. So now it's blocked my company. Okay. Now go and see. So I will stop the cap packet capture. The stopping is nothing but red color. Just you can stop, and just you can enter DNS. So click on here arrow button. So now whatever I accessed, everything it will appear. Whatever yeah, I'm doing in my background, everything it will appear. This is my live traffic basically. This is called live traffic. So whatever applications I've opened, example, Gmail, my drive, cybersecurity material, even um, what is this? Wireshark website. So everything we can see, including iBombay as well. So now come down. You can see here. Are able to see? www one dot ibama dot one. Yes, yeah. So this is the way. How do we have to? Do? This is live capture basically. So we are using Akamai. It's a uh, web application firewall. Jetscaler is a proxy we are using in my organization. So if I'm clicking on this one now, so I can see what's what what, what is this particular activity. Okay. So even it will come one more thing because it has to block blocked activity is not showing. I will uh, once again uh, quit, and what I will do. I will open the website once again. White Shark. First, I will open the traffic now. So it will capture now. So what I will do now? I will go and I will revisit the website. It is accepted. Now it is accepted because regularly I'm accessing, but initially it is not accepted. Okay, so now what is Akama is thinking? Akama is thinking behavioral pattern we discussed, right? Behavioral pattern. So regularly I am visiting this website. That means maybe user has some other purpose is there. That's why he's visiting regularly. But initially when I accessed, it is showing based on signature. 
okay it is generate it will it will now generate the alert notification as well okay now it is i am able to access this one that's why it is not showing any error okay understood or not it is opened all website is open now now go back to the our uh, maybe we will go with another website icar icar website what is the importance of icar website icar website importance malware malware, malware analysis files yes oh, let me go and see yeah now i'll download one of the file nothing what i am doing just i am trying to do downloading of couple of things i want to show that particular traffic in the so network traffic analyzer tool wireshark so all these are virus files shall i download one file shall i download one file okay if my system will get compromised you are responsible i am trying <laughs> okay just kidding guys so it is blocked understood right now i have to go and i have to see icar is appearing in the uh, real time traffic using okay so network traffic analyzer tool of wireshark or not go back so now i will stop the capture maybe may wait for one or two seconds because the traffic has to come here right So I will stop now. Okay, perfect. Now I can go and I can do DNS filtering. So then I will do filtering here. So go and see is there anywhere ICAR website is block the activity. it will come directly as a red color no sir it haven't block where is that up in the app it is in the it is in the top sir. top i mean in the middle in the middle of it i have seen so youtube i open a youtube in another uh, another window yeah this is the one yeah. initially icar is see normal icar.org is okay so normal i.org i'm able to open right normal one is fine so example eaca this is opening this is come this is not a uh, malware file understood this is not a this is not normal one that's it that is what this traffic understood is it clear yes sir yeah so this one whatever it is a blocked one this one is blocking by firewall this blocking by firewall url itself it is a blocked this is the way how we can normally we will see so firewall policy we have to configure after creating a firewall policy when the user is clicked what is this one is this this portal is called as anyone this portal is called as which one which programming language they will use html or javascript captive JavaScript. portal this is called HTML. captive portal whatever JavaScript. this window is wrapping this is called captive portal entire question what is captive portal in I, i mean firewall so captive portal will represent the so status of the respective website whatever end user is accessed whether it is allowed activity whether it is a blocked activity okay so now whatever packet caps it is appearing is dot icar dot org only so this uh, icar dot org download option is there right that is not coming as a traffic this is blocking by our akamai firewall itself and also we are using uh, jetscaler proxy those two it is blocking automatically okay so this is the way how we can go and we can download just we can go and we can see whether under http any other traffic is there
somewhere red color gone So this is previous one only, I think. Yeah, incomplete data. TCP connection. Same thing, packet is retransmissioning every time. So continuously from same IP, these particular errors are coming. That is called packet retransmissioning. Okay, you can see here from same IP continuously, this packet is retransmissioning. Countries are trying to access, so it is trying to come to TCP three way handshake. So, from same, once again, retransmission. So, this is the way how we have to analyze, but don't analyze normal, I mean, real time traffic. So, what you have to do, you understood, right? Whenever any incident is happened, that incident is coming in SIM tool and whatever timestamp it is coming and also whatever source IP destination IP. You can gather these three things. Then you can go to firewall or maybe proxy or maybe IDS IPS, wherever packet capturing they are storing. So go to those tools and do the packet capture and export the packet capture file or PCAP. PCAP means packet capture. Export the file. Then you can come back to the Wireshark tool import the file and analyze what is the issue. So this is overall how to analyze and what to do in the network traffic analyzer. So do you have any questions guys? Sir, once, can you try yeah. that thing sir? Which one? Importing from yeah. Firebomb by Im clicking on open. Yeah, but unfortunately, uh, open is not coming. Uh, that's why. Can you share your screen possible? Did you install? I installed, sir. Uh, okay, so can you share your screen possible? Okay, sir. So you need maybe permission, I think. One yes, second. Uh, Karishma, right? Yes, sir. Uh, make as a co-host. Yes, I have done. Okay. Uh, did you download the file? Karishma? Yes, sir. Again, I am downloading, sir. Okay. Meeting loan, and the Sir, here we have to type source. No, I'm not able to see your screen. I can see only your white shark screen sharing tool. I think you shared only one window, not entire computer. Network problem, sir. Okay. Okay, what you can do, Karishma, just you can, okay, that's perfect. Now I am able to see, okay. Okay, sir. No. Uh, no, no, just you can give into mark, click on into mark. I see. Uh, plus symbol, plus symbol, plus, yes. Source, click on source down, source, yeah. Select the first one itself. 
yes apply okay now yes click on that one okay destination yeah select any one thing first one is fine yeah so apply okay now download uh, okay uh, click on any of them yeah so download yes sir it was downloaded okay now you can go back to wireshark yes sir file import no packet capture it was shown sir no i am not able to see your screen so yeah that's what i said it's a demo tool so basically traffic will not be available okay browse yeah so downloads yeah first one open here import it is that sir yeah yes correct import yes you stop your share screen yeah just you can uh, why you are putting that ip address on the search button just you can remove yes sir okay one second can you import yes file format also very important that's what i said file format also import yeah so packet actually that packet doesn't contain any traffic related to hexadecimal so that's why it is not showing anything but don't worry but you know what is the process correct in practically you are doing in the uh, production environment you are able to see the traffic here so just you can type ip dot ad i uh, ip 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 uh, ip dot add addr yes sir yeah equal to equal to yes sir yeah just this is the way how normal in the interview they will ask how can you filter out the ip traffic in the okay wireshark tool this is one of the interview question this command you have to remember understood right yes sir. in the similar way http traffic dns traffic tcp traffic udp traffic icmp traffic and so on even dns record so many comments we can give so if you want to get more details just you can go to help and do the documentation part read the documentation but coming back to karishma for this traffic why we are not able to analyze and it's not showing that is demo tool only it doesn't contain all the traffic that's why is it clear yes okay thank you yeah uh, so maybe we can stop for today so we will continue tomorrow morning tomorrow morning i will take this session or uh, tomorrow 20 right yeah tomorrow morning i will take this session around 8:15 815 so tomorrow morning freshly we can start enter the questions is that be fine yes sir yes sir yes sir please please go to right now karishma whatever she has done real appreciate for that one everybody you can go and you can try to do all these even you can analyze your own traffic as well you can example you can open youtube or you can open one of the movie okay then you can analyze the traffic also that's fine or you can open facebook you can analyze you can open twitter you can analyze whether it those traffic is coming or not lively traffic real time traffic so now we are able to understand what is the difference between traffic and events yeah before going to one thing i want to uh, say something to you so give me one second so basically what are we discussed so far can anyone say what is the ip header architecture ip header architecture ip packet otherwise ip packet can anyone can... say what is ip packet architecture format ip header and payload ip header and payload that's correct so coming to here ip packet when are going that is in simple format basically so practical format is this one guys so this is the one 
So TCP IP packet contains, you can see, IP packet 32 bit, okay, version. So what type of version of the IP packet, whether it is a version four or version six, length of the packet, type of service, total length, identification flags. What are the flags here? So fragmented mm -hmm. offset, time to live, TTL. Okay, protocol, header checksum, source address, destination address, data. And source port, destination port, sequence number, acknowledgement number. So basically this is IP packet or TCP packet, this is called TCP packet. So in short, IP packet in short, we will say IP header and payload. That means here, so up to here options, up to options, everything is like a IP header, payload is like a data. This is actual IP packet. Understood now? Same thing we are analyzing in TCP packet as well. I mean, so in Wireshark also, everything you will see. So version, length, type of service, total length, identification flags, fragment offset, all these we will see. This is actual traffic analyzer, this packet we will see. So where we can see that one? So we can see it's a part of transmission control protocol or otherwise IP protocol. So header checksum, you can see now compare with that I mean, theoretical water we discussed practically. So example version. So go back to here, version. Are you able to compare or not? So simultaneously I'm opening the TCP packet. I mean, TCP practical packet capture along with our architecture diagram also. Version. So next one is header length. Okay, so service field, total length, identification. You can see the same thing. Are you getting or not? Yes, yeah, so this is the way how we have to compare. When you're analyzing the TCP IP, I mean, when you're analyzing network traffic, that doesn't mean that, okay, some issue is there. You have to compare all with theoretical with the practical. Then only you are able to get the logic or knowledge. If you're by hurting, it will not work out. Okay, so open this tool and also go with this particular packet as well. This is a practical packet, this entire packet architecture. If you are going for network engineer vacancy, they will ask all these. Can you give the brief explanation about IP packet architecture diagram? That means everything we have to remember. We are a, we are a security team. We no need to go to the, that much in depth. That's why I said IP packet simple format is IP header and payload. IP header contains the source address and destination address, address. Payload contains the message or data. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. So when you're doing something, you can uh, analyze theoretical as well. Compare with the theoretical also. Okay. So please go and do practice this one and uh, I'm a little bit disappointed because you are not saying so many answers in the Portinet firewall. So you don't know where is the, uh, I mean, where you will go and you will monitor the traffic. What is forward traffic? So what is security profiles and deep packet inspection, packet inspection, policies configuration, what is implicitly deny, top to bottom approach. Okay. If you are thorough in all these fields, then only you will clear the interview. So you have to play with all these tools as well. Okay. Please go and play with all these tools. So that's all for today, guys. Do you have any questions? Sir, please upload those recording sessions yesterday and today. Yes, I will do that. Yeah. Thanks. Any other? Okay, guys, thank you so much. We'll continue tomorrow morning, 8.15. Good night. Okay, so good night. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.